Well guys, today we're going to be talking turbos. So, I've got the spar manifold in, um, which is a low mount turbo um, manifold. So as you can see, nice and nice and low. It's going to make the exhaust routing real simple. So literally it's going to come out of here for a very short silencer and out through the original factory location. Um, wastegate bolts to here and again that just will just come out and go right back into the um, exhaust this is a Hulset turbo it's a hybrid hx40 stroke hx35 i believe the cold side is the th is the 40 and the hot side is the 35 but it's good for a reasonable amount of power um compressor side uh, obviously the compressor here is going to come out of here going to go up across and then up into the intercooler, go through the intercooler core, come out, down, and then come across into the inlet manifold. On the air filter side, I'm just gonna have the 90 degree bend, bring the filter around roughly about here, and then have a knacker duct in the tailgate, which will force air down across the filter and then out the bottom. So relatively simple in the rear. Moving around to the front, another whole set hybrid, same spec as the one on the front. And then we've got an ATP style manifold here. So what I'm going to do is, is put the camera down, fit this manifold and see if we can squeeze that turbo in. Again, based off um, what I've read on the internet, it's very close to the uh, brake server and master cylinder. So let's have to have a look and see. You can see here, doesn't matter where I put it, it's uh, the compressor housing is quite big, so it's 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 right up against the servo and very close to the master, which means I'm going to root the air into it. I don't really fancy using just a mesh and no filter, so I don't think this this manifold is going to work with this turbo. Let's get that out of the way. Right, that's clearly not going to work, so we need to move on to plan B, which is going to be trying to utilise the OEM VR um, exhaust manifolds. So the plan is to kind of create a link pipe from the two outputs to spin around, come up, and then go to a flange where the turbo can sit on. In terms of positioning, it needs to be further back enough so it can go low enough so it clears the bonnet and it's further enough over this side so it clears the master cylinder and servo but obviously it needs to be in the right place so I can use so I can get a feed for the oil return to go kind of down through um, clearly it can't go straight down because this pipe's going to come across a little bit so it's going to have to maybe go through there or back over here but I'll work out um, where's best so I'm going to bolt this on properly um, try and create some jig um, to mount the turbo and position it where I want it. Right, I'm making progress. So this is the turbo where I think it needs to be. I still need to test it in the car to make sure it's not hitting anything, but I think it's okay. It's low enough, so bonnet should still shut fine. Just need to make sure I've got enough room to come round past that servo and master cylinder, and it's not hitting the bulkhead here or any of this um, clutch stave cylinders, but I think it's I think it's okay. So I built this little jig thing just to hold it in place. And I can also use this to actually make the link pipe, which is gonna come out of these two ports, spin up and then come into here. Right, it's in. So as you can see, it's not too close to the bulkhead. It's nowhere near the clutch slave master cylinder, sorry, and more than enough room for the servo and master cylinder. And I can get an air filter in there, or at least a 90 degree something, or 45 degree bend to come out of there to clear it. In terms of the compressor outlet, that can come over here and then go down into the intercooler. So happy with that. And the bonnet shuts. I know this because it's lower than that suspension strapped up so we are all good 
So what I'm going to do is see if I've got any well dolls. I know I've got some that I was using for the VR5. So I'll see if I've got enough to make something out of this. If not, I'll have to find out if I can order some and get some delivered so I can make up the manifold. Um, in terms of routing, as I mentioned, air fit on this side, compressor into intercooler that side, through the intercooler, out into the inlet manifold. On the turbine side, um, because I've got a fuel tank in the middle of the car, I'm not rooting the exhaust down to the back, so the exhaust is going to be a front exit exhaust. So across, short silencer, through here, down through the battery tray, and then out through the side of the bumper, kind of facing towards the ground. Um, and obviously the wastegate's going to have to come out and link into the exhaust. But that's the plan. Um, so yeah, that's kind of it for this video. Um, both turbos are on, which is all good. Um, just need to do a few tweaking for the front one to get that manifold um, finished and um, we should be all good. So as usual, thanks for watching. Um, tomorrow I'll probably do, depending on if I've got some material for the uh, exhaust manifolds. If I have, I'll crack on with that. If I haven't, I'll move on to the steering, try and figure out all the wiring and stuff. Um, but as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch up on the next one. Cheers, bye.